Well, how's it going? I was going to do this walking outside with a cigar, usual wood time, but I had to go to the dentist today, so I was going to do, a, they call it a walk and talk, whatever, you know, somebody get triggered with a cigar, but here I'm in the old studio. The day after the 6th day of November 2024, um, Donald J. Trump becomes the um, selected 47th president of the United States of America, the Electoral College. Um, hey, I voted Libertarian. I didn't much like the hunch. I uh, didn't really like fork tongue either, but I did vote yesterday. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of people, I was, I'm, I'm glad I didn't see any violence. I mean, if she would have won, who knows what the right would have been like. I'm in the great state of Minnesota. I saw when they peacefully burned down the city of Minneapolis and the city of St. Paul. I remember that night, I had to go to the airport that night and I could smell the smoke at the Minneapolis-St. Paul airport. I, okay, he's, you know, what I like to see from him, I mean, I, I, I don't want to see him pardon the uh, J6. I remember when that was going to happen, I pointed out to a friend of mine. I was working at the grocery store during the pa during the pandemic, and I told the guy, it's going to happen. Be a bunch of white folk, I'm sorry. They get brainwashed by people, especially the, uh, the Christian people, because they already go to churches like Catholics and don't worry about how children are treated. You know, I'd be public hanging that behavior. Public hangings, that behavior, drug dealers, whatever. I wouldn't shower in the shower of Penn State, right? But um, when all that happened, that one on the peacefully burned down the cities, right? Peacefully when they murdered George Floyd. And I, Tom Menard talked about it. Because the day after that happened, it rained on the Monday, and, and Tuesday was going to happen in J6. I said, you have a bunch of people that follow the herd. It's going to happen. And, you know, it's, it's easy to brainwash people that are, are brainwashable when you're educated. Like I said, I pay my tax, I go to work every day, I've always voted, I've never served my country, but that's why they died in the beaches and they freed the Jews, stamped next to Krauts, I got them all my, all my audio podcasts, I shout the military. I'm doing this on a non-monetized channel, under the heading of the uh, Sarasota Tim Haters, which I've been doing. But I'd see from the hunch, as I call him Donald J, and I hate to see him uh, pardon the J6ers, okay? Anybody else and Julianne, all those other idiots. And, you know, there's only one person this man listens to, and that's his daughter. And that's it. Like I said, write a movie called um, movie called uh, One Seat, and you're the helicopter pilot, and you turn around, Mr. President, I have one seat left, and you get in the helicopter and it takes off, and you jump out, and the plane crashes, whatever else. I'll be outside. I hope no one tries to take him out, just like the two assassination attempts before. One, while well, the bullet got, was, was shot, the other one, the guy took the rifle out there. I don't want to see anything happen when I was alive and Reagan happened. I don't want to see that with JFK. Uh, we got to come to the nation. You know, he wants to drill, baby drill. That's fine. I think if we get more of the gas mileage at over 50, which we could probably do it simple, we wouldn't have to worry about drill, baby drill. Uh, you know, but when oil goes up, when oil goes down, then stock market goes down too as well. Oil takes a lot of crap. They can pound sand overseas. If you remember your history, Nixon said, you can do the uh, um, Alaska pipeline if all the oil is comes to America, but that goes on the open market. But I like to see if uh, one one six year term for the president, and you're done, one term. Amy, who I voted for, I like her. I've met her twice. Well, shook her hand at the Super Bowl another time. I saw her at the airport, and I walked over. I shook her hand. I'm an independent Republican. My old man was independent Republican Union man, and I love I love her, but she should be done after two times four. Wellstone would have said his promise he'd probably still be alive, but he crashed an airplane, you know, unfortunately. But two times four in the House and the Senate, and we're done with it. And before you can be the leader of the free world, to be any 47th, you have to serve our country as the military. I don't care if you're cooking food or whatever else before you send someone's child to war. I mean, someone gave me his purple heart where a guy who was a draft dodger. Bill Clinton, man, Yahoo, I was a draft dodger too. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Sawinski. So Vance will be a possible 48th, obviously, after his four. And, you know, when he gets in, at least he served his country as a Marine. That's the only good thing about him. But uh, women's ovaries are always up for auction, which pisses me off to more, more end. It's like, you know, I, I don't know. You don't use you know, abortion for or birth control. I mean, I'm not pissed. I wasn't going to, you know, I told my wife I should go burn town downtown Hopkins or go into work and start trashing stuff, you know. <laughs> I was leaving work today, and my truck got stuck in park at the dock. Just got it all fixed, and I get it towed down there again. I was like, oh, 
what a curse that truck is. Brand new truck, I just cannot get to get it done. But um, anyways, we can only hope we can get along. I don't know what he's going to do, or start deporting people. I don't know if you're going to walk house to house like the, the Germans did, I guess. Uh, you know, I mean, Vegas, that happens. There'll be a lot of hotels and, you know, people clean rooms. And down in Worthington, down in uh, Minnesota, there's a slot. They have a lot of slaughter places down there. They're full of a lot of immigrants down there. And I get it. They're not taking American jobs. They're taking jobs nobody wants. I worked at the, at the, um, uh, the, uh, the Super 8 a long time ago. And a lot of Latinos worked there cleaning those rooms like you would not believe. There are people who would go in there and have sex parties or whatever else. And there would be blood everywhere. I'd go back in 20 minutes later like nothing happened. I do believe, yeah, we need stronger borders. You're damn right we do. You gotta make who in the hell's coming in. But they're not taking American jobs, okay? You know, and I get it. He wants to do all this stuff. And yeah, we need it. We need a, that board, like I said, to be to be taken care of. No tax on tips. That's great. He just can't do that. It's gotta gotta go through uh gotta go through the uh Senate and the House and get that behavior and uh, social security behavior. I don't wanna see him doing project 20, 2025. I don't wanna see from the hunch. Don't have your family in there using the family business in, in the piggy bank. Keep his sons out of there and his daughter out of there and get people behind you. And if J.D. Vance wants to be the 48th, they're going to have to uh, learn to get along. And it's economy stupid. Like Bill Clinton said, man, talking points, yahoo. Great economy for eight years. And that's what Obama said. But it's too bad the forked tongue, as I call her, didn't uh, speak last night and concede like a real human being. And whatever, so you know, he's going to get on the twentieth of, of of January, and I, you know, I, it disappoints me, but it's not the end of the world. You know, I was a big fan of Obama. I mean, my, what's his name, Reagan, when he was in, um, him and Tip O'Neill didn't get along, but they knew they had about the economy. That's what Reagan was all about. But I'm, I'm, you know, if she would have won, I just hope there would have been rioting. You know, the the, I mean, just a prime example. If you remember when two thousand sixteen. When Bill Hillary was running against him, there was somebody who said there was in base of a, of a pizza place, there was a pedophile ring, and some white guy is running around a high, high, high powered rifle in a, in a parking lot because he thinks it was true. That's the kind of guy you snipe right there, just like my video claiming I was down in Sarasota, right? With Sarasota Tim. People believed it. The anonymous, the, the, uh, whatever his name, anonymous, put me on a, on a, uh, a, on a um, thumbnail. Thanks. Where my fear monger radio? I appreciate it. Because he believed what he saw. And people get brainwashed real easy. And that's why it's easy to brainwash religious people because the Baptist church, Catholic church have had a problem with, um, unfortunately, molesting children. And nothing's done. You know, we all know the Catholics helped the, the Germans get away after World War II. And then it uh, been a fact on that. You know, it's what you shower in the shower at Penn State, Pedophile University. But I, I can hope the country can get, get he can... Uh, go back on his rhetoric and, you know, not be the modern-day Hitler, whatever else, and, you know, I don't know, I just, but I'm glad there was, I, I saw some minimal, I, when I voted, it was pretty simple, people were civil, you know, my next year goes, hope there's a big red movement, I didn't bother to tell him, I'm not, I'm not a, 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 a big fan of the guy, but uh, I'll die on my feet before I live on my knees. Hey, he'll get in, he'll do four years, we'll see what happens. If the Democrat Party wants to get in to be the 48th, they're going to have to get somebody who knows the hell they're talking about. Hey, like, I'll believe what the hunch said. It was a coup from the plagiarizer, Mr. Biden, right? Whatever. There's got to be an age limit. He's going to be an 82-year-old grown-ass man when he's done, right? I, I just, it, it's, it's a shame how the behavior is going on in this country. I hope we can all get along without shouting and yelling at any people, you know, especially on YouTube. I see a lot of people fighting back and forth and you know, whatever it may be, and, you know, it's, people have all that stuff on here, but it, it is what it is, I, I, you know, my, my hobby is, is making videos and doing podcasting, and my adventure channel, the Cowboy Adventure, I would, every, every day something comes out, but uh, it probably cost me some uh, views, listens on my uh, NFL podcast when I, when I came out against Spoke, I said, I don't like the guy, I don't hate the guy, but um, yeah, he won, he's the selected president, don't forget that, the Electoral College, that's all there is to it. It's, it's until they start having the electorals, every state has an even number. I don't know, what if, whatever, whatever all the, all, all the uh, place they come from, 50 states plus whatever, all have an even number. Then it'll be more fair instead of just saying flyover country. And then it comes down to five or six states, every state should matter. Instead of just 
North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin went red, and uh, whatever else. And I get it, you know. I mean, Amy won, and I. But it's too bad if they would have. I think to get rid of electoral college, it's a joke. All you do is go to these things either the party, and we the people elect, you know, our mayors. We the people should select the Supreme Court. Two times five, you put five up for each, and we select them. They get two terms times five, and they're out, and that's it. Man, that's the way I look at it. We elect our mayors. We should elect. We should elect our presidents, and so we do. We do with the uh, senators in the House. Why not the president? So this electoral behavior. You know, that's that's be more fun. But uh, you know, congratulations on the hunch, and uh, hopefully we can all get along. And, hey, get better, get better gas mileage, and we don't have to drill, baby, drill. And uh, you know, I don't know how he's going to deport people. What's he going to do? He's going to go house to house? I don't know. I do like that we don't have to have electrical vehicles. They don't go as long. And I understand that. It's a poor choice. But, um, yeah, I hope we can um, get past this. And he can allegedly promises and, uh, you know, better. Uh, we can, our money go a lot farther. Because let me see if it's still in here or not. We'll let my, uh, see if it's in here. Speak the language, huh? here it is. Uh, the language of money, right? I always said that. This is what we speak right here. It's in here. Let me honor it. All right? That's the language of money. It's we speak. Economy's good. That's what they speak right here. Keep forgetting I got this money here. I don't know playing Black Jack Mystic Lake like two a year ago. I forgot that was in there when I was going through my CDs. But um, in my, I call this the uh, classic camera. We call that a, a sex object. Samsung P60. Anyways, guys, buy me a cup of coffee. Share the show. Share the video. It's always say, I don't ask for a damn thing. No GoFundMe's here. I saw somebody, some YouTuber died, I guess. I saw a blind view talk about somebody else. Somebody, that's one, when a YouTuber or a TikToker dies, it's one less person I got to deal with. One less person I got to fight for views. So, whatever it may be, I'm still waiting for Jimmy Carter to pass away. It's a Deadpool hit. Two hundred dollars. He dies. I get two hundred dollars. So he fun. He fun. He's. I got two hundred dollars when his wife died. So Eddie Van Halen died. I got money from him too as well. Deadpool hit. So I'll never know. Anyways, guys, good luck, hunch. Make sure you follow your promises. I'll get along. You are the forty-seven selected president. Okay. Serve our country first before you send people to the war. Okay. That's what I'm saying. We don't want draft dodgers up there. We want real men and women. Okay. Term limits is big. Okay. We can get over 50 miles a gallon if we wanted to. All right? I did not have sexual relations with that Mr. Winsky. Yahoo. See you guys all up in the outskirts. Ciao after a while.